Well, hello there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I am going to go and find myself a living ship. You can see a living ship behind me right now, just over past my ship. Yeah, living ship. Lovely jubbly. This one over here. I'm going to show you guys how to get something like this in today's video. So, step one, people. We need to get out of camera mode. And we need to go and see Johnny Fine. Well, that's what I call him anyway. His real name is the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Yes, it's a mouthful and a half. But if you go see this guy inside of his wares, he's going to have a void egg. So here we go. Create exotic items from Quicksilver. And here's the menu right here. Right, well, I've found it, chums. There it is. It's 3,200 Quicksilver. I accidentally knocked my right trigger and it went into base building items only. But here we go. Void Egg, 3,200 Quicksilver. I have 12,000 Quicksilver. I'm going to buy one. Okay. Now, someone might, if you're very lucky, give you one as you're walking around the old Nexus. I've just claimed all of my Liquidator Minotaur parts as well while I'm here. But anyway... Now we've got that egg, we need to just check our inventory, just see where it actually is. Right, there it is, right there. We've got our void egg, it's inside of my exosuit. Right, I'm just going to get in my ship, and we're going to jump to a new system of space and just start flying around. Okay, here we go. Zoom! And we're off. Now, I would say it's probably worth getting a living ship. It's just... Because it comes from the Void, and we've got all this talk of the Void Mother, I'm wondering whether the ships might become a key component in very near future. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump Galactic Map, I think, at the moment, people, if I can find where it is. Quick menu, here we go. I'm just going to jump to a fresh area of space. You, technically, you don't have to do the jumping to a free area of space, but you know what, I might as well, anyway. Yeah, expand, which is A. Yeah, I think that might do. Let's go there. I didn't really want to go to an uncharted area of space. I just wanted to go to an area of space that looks fairly interesting. I'll tell you what, this cockpit, people, that is fairly interesting. It looks freaking great, doesn't it? Heck yes. Right. Now all I need to do is engage my pulse engines, and hopefully something's going to happen. So here we go. Wrong button. Here we go. Now, as you're pulsing, you should get some sort of melody or some sort of interruption happen. At least that's what I'm hoping is going to happen with this egg. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that, no, well, that takes its time to do what it needs to do. So just uh, fly around, I guess. Well, I haven't had nothing pop in. Oh, here we go. Rare object. And you see that they had the egg message. Right, I've got a got a message coming in. Here we go. I've got to communicate. We hear you, traveller. We are connected. Your body is of ours. Right trigger. This craft is like none I have ever seen before. It looks alive. It looks pretty darn cool, that one, doesn't it? Its broadcast is pure music, and yet I understand the melody, making words in my mind. The void egg I acquired from the space station anomaly begins to resonate in response. Okay. There we go. Continue to lesson. The tones that had previously formed words now shift in form, modulating their music into readable navigational data. Coordinates have been registered to my starship systems. Okay, people. Galactic map again. There we go. Galacticated map. And then we just need to follow the mission path. Now, I am pressing the way that I want to go. Um, yeah. Destination, Galactic Core. No, I want to I want to go to current mission, please. Okay, right stick. Sorry, people. Uh, no filter. Life form. Conflict. No. Nope. Galactic Core for expression. Black hole. Atlas station. Current mission. That's what we want. This one here. Okay. So I want to go there then. Yeah. J 
just go there. Yep, right trigger to walk. And we're off! Sorry, that galactic menu with these controllers seems a little bit squiffy, I have to say. Yeah, anyway, we're off. Off on an adventure! Okay, right. Now, the Starbirth mission right there says the Void Egg seeks a specific world in this system. Examine the egg in the inventory to learn of its requirements. So let's do that. Inventory. And it's in our Exosuit. There it is right there. Okay, let's just hover over it then. An anomalous egg, the yeah, yeah, yeah. When touched, it comes up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not telling me anything about what planet it seeks out people, is it? It's not. It's not saying anything. Uh, okay. Um, right. Um, that, that seems to be a little bit squiffy, doesn't it? All right, well, um, yeah. Well, that, that makes very little sense. Uh, okay, oh, 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 no, no, no. Well, after we've now hit it, we've now got an icon appeared on our radar. That, that really wasn't that intuitive, but there we go. We've now got a marker. Let's go. Tala, and away we go. Lovely, jubbly. I'll see you down on this planet, people. Heck yes, lovely. Right, people. Well, we're going to fly on down. Zoom. Okay. Whoa, it's brought me down on a small island. Yay. Let's land. Now, what sort of hellhole is this that it's brought me to? Fun times. Okay. And somehow, I've got water animation around my ship when I've, I've clearly landed on an island. What the flying fudge is happening there? Well, that's different, isn't it? Holy mackerel, we've got ourselves a storm. We've got ourselves a wavy davy plant. That is huge! Huge! Yeah, I tell you what, playing inside of VR is mental, the amount of scale. This is freaking weird, though. Why? Just why? Okay, um, interesting. Maybe it's because the waves get pretty high in the storm, I don't know. This is looking freaking epic. Okay, the void egg is humming a set of coordinate data. Activate the target suite to trace the void egg song, which is LG. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. Ah, I think I know what it means. This. Target sweep, there we go. We've got to go that way by 1,000 odd U's. Okay, all right, I think I've worked it out now, people. So we're using the target sweep, which needs the um, server, the, the uh, scan survey thing, the survey analysis visor in. There's some cool creatures here. How far have we got to go now? Still this way by like 1,000 odd U's, okay. Okay, well, um, this is mainly oceans. I've got a bit of a frickin' swim. So I'll tell you what, people, once I get there, I will let you know. Okay, cool, yeah. Ah. Okay, chums, well, I think I've reached my destination because it's got a lovely big icon above the top of it. So, you know what, I think this is probably a really good place for me to sort of end off in a roundabout way. Let's just put that away. No, I would do, anyway. Come on. Put that away. So I think this is a good place to stop. So hopefully you've got yourself to this sort of location. So let's bring up my ship anyway. I'm going to bring my ship to me so I can at least save. I put that there. Well, yeah, go. We can go over. And go over there somewhere. Doesn't have to be too close. That do. Just there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And in next episode, we'll be hitting up this monolith, seeing what it's got to say, and seeing what the next step is. But for now, I'm just going to get in my ship, out of my ship, to create a save. Excellent, eh? Now I've got some video editing to do, people. 
So yeah, that's me done. So thank you for watching, people. This is episode one of How to Get Yourself a Living Ship. I guess. So yeah, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people. Steve